tearing down that hill now toward turn 11 with Van Gelder and Hepler fighting for the lead. Here they come into the straightaway, approaching turn one for the first time at top speed. And they really need those shutoff markers so they can gauge when to shift down. story about how you and Bob uh, met before. I, I thought uh, I thought he was introduced to you at uh, at Santa Barbara, actually. At, no, at by Santa, Santa Barbara, Barbara, he was already my favorite driver. I see. My biggest see. driver. Right. Yeah, just it was it was a confluence. My shop wasn't far from Whittier, where he lived, and when he saw what we were doing, he made himself known to me. Yeah, very good. One of the best decisions I ever made. Right. What was your decision? You you gave him the car. You let him use the car to race. We not only let him use the car and do practice racing, but I helped build a uh, platform so we could tow the car to some of our races. Okay. And as a car dealer, whenever a new race was occurring, the car dealers considered this a, uh, a bonus to offer the shop for checking out the cars for their ability to run in the races. The Among other things, technically, we were the first people to put seat belts in cars. Hmm. And where did we get the seat belts? From military aircraft surplus. Yes. And all across the country, if you didn't have a seat belt, you didn't race anymore. So we were leaders in that. With Bob Oker, again, always making things work for us. Right. <laughs> well, thanks, Dad. But the, well, anyway, I wanted to get into that later. But the, you know, the racing, of course, has had a strong influence on my life. And uh, because I was around it. I mean, it really, I mean, I determined to be a mechanical engineer because of my love of racing, and I wanted to build the race cars. I wanted to drive them, too, but uh, I wanted to build them as well. And, uh, you know, my, I've designed engines for other people and experimental engines, and at one time, I had a business manufacturing speed equipment for kart racing and won a national championship in 1975 uh, with one of my engines. But the dad's my referring dad. to is the, the engine that I've recently completed the design work on. It's a, a four-cylinder engine designed for competition in the DSR, the D Sports Racing Class of uh, SCCA. Um, it's a four-cylinder engine of unusual design. It's a high, highly efficient, compact design. Uh, the picture shows the uh, six-speed uh, sequential transaxle that I designed to go with the engine. I feel this engine has a lot of potential. Uh, it certainly will put out more horsepower than anything else in the class. And I believe that it's a rugged, uh, compact design that would do well for production automobiles or for aircraft.